Okay, so this is uh, it gets it's Boblet's Gap Trail. And I've been on it once in my truck, so it's not too crazy because I have a full size Ram 2500. So if that truck can make it, I mean, it's not that difficult, but I've never been on it with a bike. So, and that was a year ago and we just had a bunch of rain and stuff from the uh, tornado, hurricane, whatever it was, I mean. So I'm gonna try it out and see how the Himalayan does on the uh, Bobby Scap Trail. Wood Horse Trail. I don't know. This comes out at Father Scap Overlook. Ooh, a little mushy. Whoa. Watch now. A little muddy. Yeah, I forgot about how muddy it might be. That's all right. The Dunlop and Pirelli tires. It does not too shabby in the mud. As long as it's not crazy. You know what? Actually, I have been on this trail on the bike. I think. Yeah, see everything here in the shade is just mud. Doesn't get a lot of sun up here. Whoa. See, I hate the leaves when you can't see the rocks under it. So I remember parts of this gets really rocky. And the wet leaves on rocks, it's almost as bad as mud. See, like this is rocky, but there's a bunch of leaves. Check out these rocks, though, man. They're wicked. This is also the first time semi off road since uh, my shoulder nerve issue with my right hand. <laughs> so basically, my pinky, my right hand still numb. But uh, it was my pinky and ring finger. And, and it kind of tingled for a while and, and that scared me riding because I usually ride two fingers on the clutch and brake but now since I still have some numbness I'm full gripping the bars which feels weird Feels good to get back on the bike. The shoulder injuries, man, they take forever to heal. Ooh. See, I don't really know this trail good yet to go too fast. Whoa. 
Yeah, I feel like once I learn it better, all these little humps are gonna be super fun. See, there goes the horse trail up that way. Like single track, which I don't feel like trying right now. Just not until I fully heal my shoulder. the camera's picking up how rocky this is. <laughs> I'm bugging my helmet. You got a few spots that are smooth. And they're just kind of slick right now. But a lot of it's pretty rocky. <laughs> I'm probably like only catching like an inch of air, but to me it's feels awesome. Not too shabby for the the Himalayan. So there's another cool rock. This place has some cool Oh this is all mud. Woohoo! <laughs> oh slipping and sliding. Oh let's see. Ooh. That's the first time I've seen a, a vehicle on any of these trails. Yeah, it makes me miss my Jeep. Well, I mean, not like seeing something on a trail, but when I had my shoulder in injury and I couldn't ride the bike, and my truck being too big to really do anything off road. makes me miss the jeep days but then days like this it's like this trail would be super boring on a jeep in a jeep whatever and it's way more fun on a bike Yeah, it feels really good to be back out. Get away from all the politics, all the craziness going on. getting sore already. I haven't ridden so long. So that's part of the Appalachian Trail goes down there. Now this section gets pretty more rocky. And then up here, so this is cool. Um, Alright, up there, that's the park right up there right now to the parkway. That's kind of... Kind of creepy. Whatever that bike sounds like.
Okay, I might take a little break right under here real quick. Fucking Oh look, somebody <coughs> Hello campfire. Yeah, I don't know about being under a bridge. That feels kind of creepy. So if I wanted to, I could go up this little trail and probably get on to the uh, parkway. But I wanted to see what What went up this way? I saw this big berm here. So what is this? It looks like a trail. Oh man, okay, I gotta stop right here. Oh wait, <laughs> there's the Bottles Gap. Overlook. Yeah, check that. I need, to, I need to get a picture of this real quick. Cause that just looks super cool. Yeah, so I've been, this is the Ballas Gap Overlook up there. So you, from the park where you drive, you can park up there. And you can walk out on the rocks. And check out the overview, overlook, whatever you want to call it. But now, let me take a few quick pictures. Alright, so I might run up here and see how far this goes. And turn around. Maybe try to go down the trail on the other side. Because I've never been there even in the truck. I turned around under that bridge there. Because that was literally the only place wide enough for that for my ram to turn around. So a picnic table. Yeah, I don't want to go up that way. I might have a little campfire under here. Right, this is looking pretty mush. 
I'm not trying to do a whole lot of mud today. That looks so cool going down that hill. I'm going slow, riding like grandpa. Whoa, whoa. I'm trying not to hit the mud too hard where it's too thick. Hey, this would be super fun on a mountain bike. Whoa, I tried to go down up my, oh wow, look at those rocks. Oh, look at that deer too. See it running across the ridge? I think it was nice. See, that's another reason why you gotta go kind of slow around here. There's so many deer and bear, as you've seen them. My bear video. A rock hit my, oh not a rock, a stick or rock or something hit my shifter and shifted down first for me. All right, I'll take that. I have no idea where this comes out at either. Find somewhere cool to stop, take a break, get some pictures before the sun goes down. So that's definitely the next thing on my list now that you know we're getting in the shorter days, shorter you know sunlight. Well, that looks cool. I need to get a better headlight and some auxiliary lights. So if anybody has any suggestions, let me know in the comments. Um, to 
Is this headlight? It's not very good. Like most stock headlights I've had. I mean, technically it's better than a lot of bikes I've had. But it's definitely not up to par with some of the aftermarket stuff. Alright, I think I'll take a break here. The kickstand is a little sketch. Alright. Yeah, so that's definitely not on the map. Lost Trail Road ahead. Nice. Let's see. I don't know. It's gotta go somewhere. Might have to wait, do that on a day I have more more t daylight or have better lights Cause right now <coughs> I'm gonna be hurting getting out of here already Take a little break. Try to figure out where I'm at. Oh man, my helmet soaked. See, this is what <laughs> I don't like. Getting sweaty when it's kind of chilly. And you take a break and then put all your gear back on, and then it's wet because you just sweated on the trail. Oh, that's kind of gross. All right, well the Himalayan's doing good. I'm loving the tires. It's a Pirelli MT21 up front and Dunlop D606 on the rear. They're holding up pretty good. I got some a little bit of rock damage on the panniers, but it's alright. Well, not really rock, it was more like stone. It was like a stone rock gate. I was trying to pass and I clipped it, trying to pass it. All right, so this does have a trail going down this way, but I'm not gonna hit it because it's getting, it's already six and the sun's gonna be setting soon. So, yeah, and it doesn't show it on here, but I'm guessing it might hit that trail over there, 
but this one's I'm almost at the end of this trail so I'm just gonna go to the end turn around and head back so I mean I probably should just head back now but I'm already this far right oh <laughs> I had the kickstand down I'm definitely gonna have to get new lights before you know it gets to the point where it's dark by the time I get off work these banks once I get used to the trail and it's dry come flying down here and hit those banks off sideways it'll be super fun See when there's two mud spots like that, I try to hit it right down the center. Just because even if you start sinking in it and you create your own little rut, at least it won't be like hitting a rut under there that's somebody else's rut. There's another trail going down that way. Alright, this looks wicked. This looks like a cool little camping spot. people's trash I don't understand there we go bounce off that rock That's deeper than it looked. Whoa! I hit that sideways and I just slid. Whew, slid up it. Actually, here we are at the end. I guess I'll go ahead and end this video because it's going to get dark and it's probably not going to record good. But, uh,. Bust a UE right here. Or I guess I'll go down a little bit and then turn around. So 
Now this road might be private. Shit, I need to turn around. The last thing I want to do is piss off somebody. Looks like a good place. <laughs> I just slid like crazy on that. Alright, I need to start slowing down on some of this mud. So you get in a hurry, then you start making stupid mistakes. Alright, so I'm going to... Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, this would be a good place to stop where this little campground is. Alright, I'm gonna stop right here and turn off turn off the GoPro before it gets too dark and before I run out of batteries. So thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it and let me know about uh, headlights or auxiliary lights or stuff like that. So thanks a lot and hopefully I'll get this uploaded soon. See you around.